to Shaping Memories and welcome to the Daily Chronicle. So today is October 10th and today is Columbus Day. It is also Indigenous Peoples Day. Many states have decided to either celebrate one or the other or both. But this day can be honored by learning about the diversity of origins that make up our population and reflecting on the role that Native people have played in the history of our nation. All right, let's get into our first article. Our first article is Only Human. So I found this very interesting because I myself have done this. Um, I have taken part in acupuncture. So let's learn about it. All right, those of you, those who have undergone acupuncture are familiar with the dachi sensation. Dachi sensation, which is D-E-Q-I. A remarkably subjective feeling with different people describing different effects. That chi roughly translates to the arrival of chi. The sensation is an indicator that the acupuncturist has released the flow of chi, the body's vital life force. People alternatively describe the feeling as tingling, numbing, radiating, aching, warm, full, cool, or heavy. These sensations are a part of the healing process. I would have to say I can attest to this. I have done acupuncture and I have felt though all of those happen at different times during my acupuncture um, procedures. So if you get a chance, try it. All right, today I have a Thinktionary. Thinktionary is where I give you a word and two definitions and you think about it and think which definition is the word. So here we go. This word is musket. It's M-U-S-K-E-G. Musket. Musket. So does it mean A, the hold below the deck of a pirate ship used to store supplies and cannons? Or does it mean peat forming bog commonly found in the Arctic? So I will give you that answer in just a little bit. All right, my next article is called Toys of Yesteryear. And yes, not even Toys of Yesteryear, this toy is still around, but it is a toy. Let's think and find out how this toy came about. I played this game all the time as a little kid. I love this game. All right, the game of battleship. Yeah. Ah, you sunk, sunk my battleship. If how I know a lot of you out there have played it. All right, with its pegboard, plastic ships, and electronic sound effects, actually began as a pen and paper game during World War I. Players had two paper grids, one representing their ship arrangement, and the second recording shots against their opponent. In 1967, Milton Bradley introduced the game with pegs and ships, and in 1977, reintroduced the game as electronic battleship. I love that game. I played it all the time. I know all of you do too. So it's kind of neat to find out that it first started out in World War One as the, on pen and paper. Pretty cool. All right, let's get back to that dictionary. Which one was it, A or B? And the word was musket, M-U-S-K-E-G. All right, so if you had said peat forming bog commonly found in the Arctic, you would be correct. And the way you would use that in a sentence is, the homesteader's wagon train sunk ruinously into the musket. So, I guess that was common, or it is common, musket. I don't know, I've never seen it, but that's the answer. Hopefully you got it. All right, let's find out what happened on this day many years back. So, in 1933, on this day, Procter & Gamble introduced their first synthetic detergent draft. Although the product was hard to find during the war years, radio listeners didn't forget about it because of the NBC radio's draft star playhouse. So I guess they kept hearing about it when they would listen to the radio. All right, in 1935, Porgy and Bess premiered on Broadway. George Gershwin's iconic opera featuring a cast of talented African-American singers performing the soon-to-be classic tunes, Summertime, I Got Plenty of Nothing, and It's 
ain't necessarily so. That happened on this date in 1935. And also on this date in 1973, U.S. President, U, U.S. Vice President Spiro T. Agnew resigned from office after pleading no contest to a charge for income tax evasion. Hmm, I didn't know that. So, always learning something new. Here's something else we're going to learn that's new. Maybe you knew this. I didn't, but it's a, did you know? Hey, did you know? So you can use this. You can use it at a party or use it with your friends. Maybe you already know, but did you know? It's just kind of a random trivia thing to know. But did you know the word taxi? Taxi is spelled the same in English, Spanish, German, French, Swedish, and Portuguese. Taxi. So that word is spelled the same way, means the same thing in all those languages. All right, let's find out whose birthday it is. Every day here at Shaping Memories, we have somebody famous's birthday. So today is, I know I'm probably not going to say this right. I looked it up. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. But it is. Frida Nansen's birthday. So he lived from 1861. His first name is spelled F-R-I-D-T-J-O-F. Frida Nansen. I hope I got it close. He was born in 1861 and he lived till 1930. He was a legendary Norwegian adventurer, diplomat, scientist, and humanitarian who was born in present day Oslo. The intrepid outdoorsman led the first exploration of the interior of Greenland, a feat accomplished in 1888 on cross-country skis. His innovative Arctic explorations inspired generations after him, as did his personality and drive. There's a quote here from him. His quote is, I demolish my bridges behind me, then there's no choice but to move forward. I love that quote. Nansen also worked in the fields of zoology and oceanography. Additionally, he won a Nobel Peace Prize for advocating for World War I refugees. And he has the quote of the day. I love that first quote, but he also has another quote. And his quote is, the difficult is what takes a little time. The impossible is what takes a little longer. I like that. I like all of his quotes. Really like all that. Good for him. All right, let's find out what happens us on 1010. Today is 1010 day. 1010, 10th day of the 10th month. So what else special happens on this day? Well, as I told you, it is Columbus Day, Indigenous People Day. Like I said, states are celebrating both or one or the other, but it is that today. Today is also Thanksgiving Day in Canada. It is celebrated on the second Monday of October every year. Also, today is World Rainforest Week. Rainforest activists all around the globe use this week, October 10th to the 16th, to increase awareness of rainforest destruction and to teach ways to protect the rainforest. Today is also Zorro Day. Today's anniversary of the premiere of the television show Zorro uh, in 1957, it premiered Zorro. And then we also have Angel Food Cake Day. Don't know why, it just is. Today they pick days for different things, so today is Angel Food Cake Day. So if you get a chance, make some Angel Food Cake, eat some Angel Food Cake, enjoy yourself a piece of cake today. I hope you enjoyed our daily chronicles. I hope you come back and join me uh, next time. Until then, I want you all to stay happy, healthy, and above all, stay safe. Take care.